So, to use a tap and die set, first thing you gotta do is figure out what your thread pattern is on your nut and bolt. Um, using this little gauge, it has all the standard sizes built into it. What you wanna do is fold out one of them, like so, and then all you gotta do is place it on the threads. And the way it should look is the gauge should line up one for one for the threads. So the peaks and the valleys should touch each other on the opposing sides. And that's how you figure out what size it is. And then all you gotta do is look on your gauge. And so this is a 20. And then go over to our tap and die set. Find our quarter inch 20, because I already know that's a quarter inch. And that is our die. And then looking through our taps, Here's our tap. And then this is really simple. There is a beveled hole on your uh, die, and that just slots right in. You screw it down, get it nice and tight. And then you should do this in a vise, but I'm just going to use a pair of vise grips for the demo. And all I do is thread it on and start twisting. And this will go through and cut either new threads or recut your old threads so you get a nice clean bolt. Now, I'm doing this on a pretty clean bolt already. But if you're doing it on a bolt that's been rounded over or something like that, the cutting would generate a lot of heat. And so you might want to put a little bit of oil, 3-in-1 oil, something like that, basically any kind of lubricant to uh, remove some of that excess heat. And then like that, you got nice clean threads. We're going ahead and go do the same on the nut, and the way you do that is take out your handy dandy handle, and this just slots in. This has a square slot on it with a corresponding square slot, so you just line it up like that. And with this, it just screws on, screws off. And you do want to make sure that the first few threads on the tap are aligned correctly, because if not, you'll cross thread it and it'll go on crooked the entire time. And with that, all you gotta do is screw it in. And again, this is a pretty clean nut already, so I don't really have uh, any need to put any kind of oil on here because really I'm just cleaning the threads at this point. I'm not really cutting into these very much. On that nut it was a little bit rusty and so I got a little cut on it but uh, I do recommend putting a little oil on these. And then a quick spin down, come back out you got nice clean threads and if I did this correctly with matching sizes this should screw on like brand new. And there you go.